I, Charlie, think, I think Gwen Sullivan is amazing. I think she's strong, I think she's brilliant, I think she's passionate, I think she has a heart about the size of a smart car. But I also feel like she takes some of her work home with her too much to where she's wearing herself thin. You know, you can't save the world on two or three hours of sleep every night. Your body's gonna start breaking down and then you offset it with energy drinks and, and artificial caffeine, you gotta take care of you so you can take care of other people. And I feel like sometimes she doesn't take care of her. I do think also in relation to Gwen, in another lifetime, we'd be a couple. I think if we were both a little less guarded and, and damaged <laughs> and spread so thin, I think we might give it a shot. But I think, you know, we are what we are for each other. We're a safe place of peace, fun, and satisfaction. I do have a, uh, a feeling about Charlie and Gwen. There'd be some sort of connection there. And they seem like they work together pretty well. So spending so much time together and sharing the same mission, you know, they build on their camaraderie. So the two of them may be hooking up. I want her to be protected. I want her to be supported. I want her to be, you know, in a good space. So, you know, Charlie, he's a stand-up guy, but I'm not too sure about, not too sure about it. Charlie's got, like, swag and He's attractive and he's a little shit, and every female tends to go for the asshole. The charm and wit and maturity of Bennett with the drive and determination of evil Jesus and the passion and sex and good looks of Charlie. I'd be a winner. <laughs>